So I'm going to share with you today a super easy recipe. It's our white chicken enchilada casserole. Um, it comes together really quick, especially if you've had your meat already cooked and frozen and you just got to thaw it out. Um, I don't recommend freezing this as a whole dish because the sauce um, can separate and it, it contains like sour cream and things in it that um, can curdle and just do bad things in the freezer. So I don't recommend that, but you can do this part that I'm fixing to show you. You can um, go ahead and pre-fill your tortillas and freeze them um, in the freezer in Ziploc bags. That way this part's done and then you can just make your sauce, throw cheese on it and throw it in the oven. So here's the first part. You have uh, just a package of tortillas. I, ha I have a 10 count here. Sometimes I use 20 of the smaller ones. Um, I just got the 10 today. And I've already mixed my chicken. You just shred your chicken, cook it however you want. A rotisserie chicken will work. Um, even grilled chicken will work, just however you want. This was pre-shredded. And what I've done is I've added cheese to it. Um, and I'll have the recipe with the exact measurements up on the blog. And so you're just gonna take however much, I can't do this with one hand because I don't really have my tripod in here right now. But you just fill it and you roll them in and you're gonna roll it up better than that and stick it in here and you're just gonna fill this slam full as packed as you can get it. Um, and you're gonna do that. That's the part you can freeze if you wanna go ahead and pre-make a bunch of these and freeze them and just make this a little bit easier, but it really doesn't take very long to do this. So next, I'm gonna show you how to do the sauce and it comes together super quick. Um, and so all you do is you have three tablespoons of butter. Go put that in a pan and go ahead and turn your burner on. Once that gets melted, you're gonna come, and I'm gonna go ahead and pre-measure this out. That way. So you get three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of flour. So we can go ahead and get that measured out of the way and just kind of put this out of the way. Um, I'm using all purpose, but you can use whatever you have. It really doesn't matter because it's just for um, thickening. So let our butter melt your butter is melted you're just going to go ahead and put your flour in there and I always add salt and pepper at this point and I add salt and pepper to my chicken mixture um, and sometimes I add some tomato bouillon seasoning to that as well so you're just going to brown this up a little bit can see how it's kind of changing a little bit. And then once it gets nice and brown, I've got two cups of chicken broth. Um, I just use the bouillons. I've said that in lots of my videos because it's um, space friendly and quick and easy and I can add however much flavoring I want. So I just use two cubes and done two cups Pour it down here. <clears throat> and you're just going to whisk it and heat it until it kind of gets thick and bubbly. So now it's nice and thick and bubbly. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my heat. And my first thing, I'm going to put a can of um, green chilies in. Sometimes we put two. Sometimes we put a big can. I'm gonna the next in real good. <clears throat> and then you have like a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna put it in here. And you don't wanna heat this back up because it will curdle the sour cream. And you just keep this get in. And I've got my tortillas all done. They're really smushed in here. Just move them out of the way and smush them together. It makes them lots better. You're just going to pour this right over top of this. All right. Excuse me. 
pour that right over on top of that. Spread it out, get it all down in every crack and crevice. Cover. I've just got some more cheese, and I'm just gonna cover it again because you want these to be cheesy. If, if your family doesn't like cheese, you wouldn't do this part, or you'd just do a little bit. So just try to get it, because when you pull these out, they're going to be, you're going to be taking sauce with it. So it really doesn't matter. So I've got my oven preheated to 350. I'm going to pop this in there for about 20 minutes. And uh, the top will be nice and bubbly. And it'll be ready to eat. I'm going to do some rice with the, um, while I'm waiting on the enchiladas to cook. And it's just two cups of water, two cups of rice, and two tablespoons of the tomato chicken bouillon. So you want to add this first, and then add the, I should tell you to do that. So you want to add the bouillon first, and then just whisk it in. And then you can add your rice in. It's just five minute, minute rice. You can use whatever rice you want. And you're just going to cover this and let it sit till your casserole is done, or until it's Nice okay guys so this is what it looks like when it's all finished i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more recipes let me know in the comments below don't forget to share this video and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber